Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today we are in the parlor or the sitting room or the front room, whatever you want to call it. It's our more formal entertaining room and I thought I would bring you something special today. So as we start into May and Mother's Day is coming up, it's been on my mind that I think we all just need a little more self-care and self-preservation <laughs> as we continue on. Um, doing life a little differently through this COVID crisis. Um, so I know where we are, things are starting to slowly ease up and get somewhat back to normal in the sense that things are opening back up slowly and businesses are kind of coming back to normal operations, but with social distancing, there's a lot of just little things like that happening, which is encouraging, but you know, I don't know about you, I still can't get to the spa for massage, you know, all those things that I would normally do to sort of treat myself and help <laughs> get through the day, um, can't happen, we have to do it all at home. So for the next several days, I'm gonna say from May 6th through May 9th, that way we kind of finish up through the weekend, I'm doing a little self uh, preservation celebration so I'm just sharing with a lot of my customers and friends that you know every day we're trying to do a little bit of pampering so in just a bit I'm gonna show you my pamper basket that I've put together and your task is just to find some sort of container I have quite a few things here I just went around and found this is a little basket I've got all kinds of little containers and baskets that I could use and I'm gonna fill it with things that I can do, whoops, do some simple and quick self-care and pampering, even if it's just two to five minutes, something to sort of make me feel like I'm still sane. <laughs> I can keep going to helping my family and giving back to others, but not feel like I'm running on empty. So go grab your basket or your container and whatever you're gonna use to just run around your house for a few minutes and um, find some items. I'll show you what I've gathered, so that way if you need some ideas, you can go grab these things as well. And we will get started making our pamper basket. And of course, your task is just to do one pamper item per day from May 6th through May 9th, just that little bit leading up to Mother's Day. Um, whether you're mother or not, we all have women in our lives who've helped mother us in one way or another and helped us become who we are today. So we're just celebrating each other, celebrating the fact that spring is here and things are slowly getting better and taking care of ourselves along the way. Okay, let's go grab those baskets and those pamper items and I'll be right back to share with you what I have. So let's get started. I think I'm gonna try using this as my pamper basket and I will share with you some of the things that I gathered up. So starting off, I have this little kit and this is just my little like manic manicure on the go bag. When I used to work in an office, I brought this in and just left it in my desk in case I ever needed you know, emergency <laughs> nail care. So I just have some um, nail polish remover pads. So those are kind of a one-time use disposable thing. My favorite, just kind of standard go-to nail color, it's called Vanity Fairest, number 120, and it's from Essie. And I like it just because it's a little quick, simple color. Um, looks kind of like a nude, but it has a little pink shimmer to it. And then there is a pack of just manicure supplies. So this has, you know, a file. There's a little cuticle trimmer, a nail trimmer, um, just kind of the basics. I think I picked that up at Walgreens. And one more thing. So this is the old nail repair serum. It came out in a JJ box last year. I still love it and use it. So that's in there too. So those are all just little things I can do to take care of my hands and my nails if I wanna step things up a little bit there. So I have my little manicure kit, that's going in. And what else? I grabbed a pair of noise canceling earbuds so that if I wanna listen to some calming music, I can. I also grabbed, where is it? Um, this is one of my favorite CDs that's just sort of a meditation. I could do yoga to it, it's just kind of quiet music. So. There's a couple rooms in the house where we still have like a CD player that's on an alarm clock and things like that. So I could always sit in that space and listen to that music. I grabbed one of my journals. I'm working on uh, actually reading this book, which I would love to finish called Organized Simplicity. And I've been taking notes in my journal, but if I just wanna do some regular journaling, I could. 
Of course, I have a pen to go with it. And then I also grabbed just a little color art therapy book. And this is a nice one that came with some pencils, so it's just sort of ready to go. So I have that in there. Let me shift this back, show you what else I found. So this is a foot roller massage tool. So you could also roll it on your legs, uh, any muscles that need to be kind of massaged. I have that. Guess what I found? <laughs> If you've been around a while, then you remember seeing this mask. So it's a collagen anti-aging mask. Uh, this came out, I think, in the October Joyful Jordan box last year, and I've never used it. So how, what better time than right now? So I'm going to tuck that in there and hopefully give myself a nice anti-aging mask at some point. And then I also have my under eye anti-aging eye gel packs or as Nancy calls them the eye slugs so again these are something I've been saving I don't know what I'm saving them for but why not now um, I grabbed a couple of different things for just kind of comfort so this is the it was the April um, host special but you can find things like this anywhere it's just a little eye mask and I like this one because of the strap I use it as a headband if I'm doing some face care and need my hair back I have um, a couple of different packs that you can heat up or make them cool. These are This one was a host special, I think, back in January. And then I have my big one, which this goes around your shoulders. <sighs> it just feels great. So that's another one. You can warm these up or keep them chilled, uh, especially if, you're, if you have a headache coming on. Something like that's always nice to do. I have a pair of fuzzy socks and these actually came from a sister of mine so I was like using those for self-care because it makes me think of my sister which is lovely and then I grabbed a couple of um, the large gallon size Ziploc bags or you could use any kind of plastic bag like that and then the magnesium peppermint lotion so if you've never done this this is a really fun treat you put some of the magnesium lotion on your feet and then put your feet in the bags and then you can even put the socks on over the bags. It feels strange, but what it does is really help open up the pores in the bottom of your feet and soak up that magnesium and the lotion and your feet will feel wonderful and it's just a nice relaxing way to get some magnesium in your body. So I have those tucked in there. Let's see, what else? Ah, and then I found a couple of other things I was saving. So this was in a Joyful Jordan box last summer, I think, and it's just a lavender bud Dead Sea salt soak. So I've never used that. I don't know why, but <laughs> wouldn't it be good to use that? I could soak just my feet, or if I decide I want to take a bath, I could put that in the bath. And same thing with these resistance essential oil um, magnesium Dead Sea salt soaks. Again, I think these were, they might have been in the Christmas collection last year. You know, I save all these things thinking I'm going to use them. Now, let's do it. <laughs> all right, the other thing I found was some of these herbal therapy face cloths. They look like that when you open them up. You kind of soak them in water and they puff up. So what you do is once you've soaked it in water and kind of squeezed out the excess water and you can use hot or cold water then you spritz it with some of your essential oils and you can just lay that on your face and lay back and relax and to spritz I grabbed a couple of options so this is the peace essential oil blend and the happiness one both of those are good when I just need a moment <laughs> to relax or to collect myself if the case is that then what else? I grabbed a couple of different face masks. So if I want to try to get in an actual mask, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, I've got my charcoal purifying one, the detoxifying clay, and this was an old one, the Alpha Berry Lipoic mask. I think that's how you say it. So these were great too. They've been discontinued for over a year, I think, but I still have one I'm hanging on to and treating myself to that every once in a while. So whatever mask you have laying around, let's grab that. Whoops. And then let's see what else I have. This basket's getting full. I might have to get a bigger one. I grabbed some toner mist because sometimes it's nice just to spritz that kind of take a breath and cool cool feeling there on the face um, stuff for my lips so I grabbed the lip exfoliant and the lip butter so if I just want to do a quick little lip scrub I could do that some of these things it's just remembering that I have them so even though I can't necessarily sit at my chair in the bedroom and do that just seeing it will make me run to the bathroom and go do it or the kitchen or wherever and then I also just grabbed a lip balm so this is the sparkling citrus 
um, lip tube, so that's nice to have in there. Stuff for my hands or my feet, I got the salt scrub. If you wanna do a nice scrub on your hands, that's good. Um, of course, a lotion bar, you can't go wrong with your favorite scent in the lotion bar. And let's see, did I have it right side up there? <laughs> that's an older label too, isn't it? And then a couple of different kinds of lotion. So I have the Shea Butter in Promise scent and then some skin relief. Sometimes I like doing the skin relief on my feet if my heels just need a little extra moisture, then that's good for that. I think I'm definitely gonna need a bigger basket. I can't find the stuff that's on the bottom. And lastly, I got just a few little treats. So these are some gummy bears that I got in um, a box for my sister that I never used because I tucked them away to save them and I forgot about them. And this, I know what you're thinking, and this is why it's in this container because then my child doesn't see it and think she knows what it is. So it's an old container from painting tape. But look what's inside, just a little bit of a chocolate treat. So I figured why not have that in there as well in case I need a little treat while I'm pampering. Okay, so that is my pamper basket and I do think I'm gonna have to get a larger one. <laughs> I was looking around. Um, I'll try to share a picture at the end here of where I'm going to be keeping this. So I'm going to tuck mine next to the little cushy armchair that's in my bedroom. And that way, either at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day, or maybe in the middle, if I need a little break, I can step away. That's kind of my little haven is back in our bedroom where there are no toys and things are mostly clean and kept up. And I feel like I can pamper myself and relax. And so I'll find a basket that's gonna fit in that corner and then I'll share a picture of that at the end. And if you're on Instagram, I think that's where I will post my daily pictures of what I did to pamper myself. So you can follow me on Instagram. I'll link that down below if you're looking for me. I believe I'm Natasha around my home, but I don't remember. So, <laughs> so look for the link. I think it's even on my bio here on YouTube. You can find that on the about section for the uh, channel. But anyway, if you're on Instagram and you find me, please share what you've done each day to pamper yourselves and you can share a picture of your pamper basket. And I will look forward to hearing from you in the comments. You can also just comment each day and let me know what you did to pamper yourself. Um, I may even share a little quick video each morning. We'll just have to see. But either way, I hope you join me in just doing a little bit of self-care and self-preservation as we lead up to Mother's Day weekend and just enjoy the spring. And thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, also, as a side note, of course, I sell Jordan Essentials, so that's why I have lots of Jordan Essentials items, but just use whatever you have around your home. I'm sure we all have little gifts and things we bought thinking we'd do that extra special treatment and we haven't done it. So this is the time to grab whatever you have in your home and let's make ourselves a little pamper basket so that we can take care and enjoy the spring. All right, thanks again and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day, bye-bye.